So I'm going to have a look at facial expressions, gestures, and movement and posture. So let's have a look at the face. The face will tell you in an instant how that person is feeling, whether they're feeling confident, whether they're feeling nervous, whether they're feeling happy, sad, or angry. Our aim in using our face is to make sure that the words that come out of the mouth are matching what the face is looking like, so that they are congruent. For example, let me give you a sentence. This is great. I'm going to say this sentence, this is great, which is a pretty innocuous statement. But I'm going to say it two different ways. Watch the face. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Same sentence. Different face. I try to keep the voice more or less the same. And I've seen so many people do this. They come up and they've got something really important to say. Their face is saying one thing, the words are saying something completely different. So how can you practice? What can you do about this? How many people do not have a mirror here? All have mirrors. Terrific. Mirror, mirror, speak to me. And that's all you have to do is before you get up to speak, say a few sentences from the speech you're about to give and just speak and if you don't like looking at yourself well what do you think the audience feels <laughs> but the best thing is when you do look at yourself you can say if your eyebrows are too high or too low or your gestures are you can correct that so that when you come up you're thinking about the correction that you have <coughs> in the mirror and guess what when you come and the words match the face People relax. What are they thinking about? The words, not the facial gestures, because they're complementary.